Convex Lens Ray Diagrams by KScience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. This here is the axis. The axis is a line that passes through the middle of the lens perpendicular to the lens. In a ray diagram, lenses are drawn as lines with an arrow pointing either away from the axis or towards the axis. So this here is a convex lens. So the arrows are pointing away from the axis. This dot represents the far side principal focus. And this dot is twice the principal focus distance away from the lens. This is the near side principal focus. And this here is the distance, which is two principal focus distances away from the lens. So we call the principal focus F. And we call the distance, which is twice the principal focus distance away from the lens as 2F, because it's two times the principal focus. And this is the near side principal focus F, and this is the near side 2F. Subject that I'm gonna be using is a rose. So I'm drawing the rose on the axis beyond 2F. So it's beyond the near side 2F. So this ray has been reflected from the object towards the convex lens, and the incident ray is traveling parallel to the axis. So the ray refracts through the convex lens, and the refracted ray now passes through the axis at the principal focus, which is F. So I'm now drawing another ray that is being reflected from the top of the object, and it goes through the middle of the lens. So it passes through the center of the lens. And at this point, the rays meet. So an object that is beyond the near side 2F is going to produce a real image on the far side of the lens. This real image is inverted, which means it's upside down. And the image is formed between F and 2F on the far side of the lens. And this real image appears smaller than the object. So an object that is beyond the near side 2F is going to produce a real image. And this image is a real image. And the image is smaller than the object. It's an inverted image. And the image is between F and 2F on the far side. So remember, this image is caused by a convex lens. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So this is the axis. This is the convex lens of a ray diagram. And the arrows are pointing away from the axis. So this is a convex lens. Drawing the near side principal focus, F. And this point represents 2F, twice the distance of the principal focus away from the lens. This is the far side principal focus, F and this is the far side, 2F. So I'm drawing the rows on the axis at 2F. That's twice the distance of the principal focus away from the lens. So from the top of the object, you draw a ray. This is the incident ray, which is parallel to the axis, and it refracts through the convex lens down through principal focus at F. And this line is also drawn from the top of the object. This incident ray passes through the center of the lens, through the axis. And as you can see here, the rays meet at 2F. The rays meet at 2F. So the image is now at 2F. So if the object is at 2F, the image will appear at 2F. The image for an object on the axis at the near side 2F produces an image which is a real image it's an inverted image, and the image is the same size as the object. So as you can see here, the object at the near side 2F is the same size as the inverted image produced 
on the far side 2f. The object at the near side 2f is the same size as the inverted image produced on the far side 2f. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. This is a convex lens, and these here are the near side and far side f and 2f points. I've drawn an image between 2f and f on the near side. So this is an object that is between f and 2f, between f and 2f. So from the top of the object, we draw the incident ray parallel to the axis and it then refracts through the convex lens through principal focus point on the far side of the lens. We then draw an incident ray being reflected from the top of the object that passes through the center of the lens. And this is where the rays meet. So the image produced by an object on the axis between f and 2f is a real image, is a real image, and it's an inverted image, so it's a real inverted image, and the image is beyond the far side 2f. So the image formed is beyond the 2f point, as you can see here, and the image formed is larger than the object. This is the image formed by an object on the axis between f and 2f, between f and 2f. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. This object is now sat on the axis between f and the lens. So it's between the near side principal focus and the lens on the axis. So the object is between the lens and f, the principal focus. So light is reflected from the top of the object and this instant ray is parallel to the axis. It then refracts through the convex lens and passes through F, the far side principal focus. This ray reflects off the top of the object and travels through the center of the convex lens. So as you can see, the refracted rays do not meet. They do not meet. So no real image can be formed because the rays do not meet. Instead, an image will appear on the near side behind the object. And this is a virtual image. So you draw the virtual rays that go behind the object. And at this point here, the virtual rays meet. So the image formed is behind the object on the near side of the convex lens. And this is a virtual image. The image is upright, it is not inverted like the other real images that would have been projected onto the screen. And this virtual image is bigger than the object. So you can see here that the virtual image is bigger than the object. And the virtual image is on the same side as the object, in this case, the near side of the convex lens. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, 
just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.